Andrew Gillum's surprise win in the primary race for Florida's governor is the latest in a series of breakthrough victories for Black Democratic candidates, which also includes Ben Jealous of Maryland and Stacey Abrams of Georgia. Gillum, the mayor of Tallahassee, played unapologetically to the progressive left. How about running for governor and being the most progressive Democrat who would invest a billion dollars in education and create Medicare for all? His strategy? Appeal to voters who have historically skipped the midterms, like young people and minority voters, and get them to the polls. In order for a candidate like me to win, uh, I've got to be able to turn out those voters who are highly skeptical of the political process. Stacey Abrams, Georgia's Democratic nominee for governor, is making a similar bet. My approach is every Democratic voter we can get, especially those who don't think their voices matter, and independent thinkers who realize they are heading down the wrong path if they don't vote for a Democrat this time. And there are enough of us to win an election. Both Gillum and Abrams are running against Trump-style conservatives. Ron DeSantis in Florida. Ron loves playing with the kids. Build the wall. And Brian Kemp in Georgia. I got a big truck. Just in case I need to round up criminal illegals and take them home myself. In Maryland, Ben Jealous, former president of the NAACP, beat out a crowded field of candidates to win the Democratic nomination for governor. Jealous faces long odds to unseat Larry Hogan, a popular Republican incumbent, but believes he has a shot at turning out enough left-leaning voters to win. Larry Hogan's go-along to get along politics and his policies on almost every issue stand in direct contrast to those I laid out in this campaign. All three candidates have also benefited from the endorsement of Vermont Senator and progressive standard bearer Bernie Sanders. And that we are going to elect this man as the next governor of this state. If they win, Gillum and Jealous will be the first black governors in their states, and Abrams, the first black female governor in the nation.